Honus family. So in this segment, we are going to be doing energy activations, right? So if you are open to it, you are about to be activated. Now there are affirmations that are um, that we will be saying, and therefore these are some affirmations that you may want to start saying too to be able to assist yourself and being able to open yourself up and to activate yourself as well. These are activations that is very good for the time that you reach this video and um, it will help you throughout so you can listen to it as often as you need to and just know that there are frequencies that are also being placed to be able to uplift your energies, remove anything that is not serving your highest and greatest good with your permission, only if you allow, you'll be able to allow yourself to be activated. So maybe you will feel a sense of clarity, a sense of direction, hope and all type of amazing loving and wonderful things first we have coming out with the color of green so for those that are into colors green which is also a test to your heart chakra make sure your your heart is fully open right now so that you can really allow yourself because your heart is the one is um i was um watching the interview with dr b and uh, he mentioned how it's like a distribution center. And so it distributes the information, which is why we always speak on opening your heart uh, so that your, your prayers can be heard from the universe, you know, because when you're in your head, there's nothing, it's not, it's not doing anything because your heart is closed. So I mean, you won't be able to allow, you know, those beautiful blessings to come in. You're not giving yourself permission to be able to get those you know, beautiful blessings and everything of that nature. So therefore, when your heart is open, you are allowing yourself to allow that distribution to be able to distribute properly within your vessel, to be able to send the communication information to where it needs to go in your body. First, we have goodness with the color green. I overcome my imperfections polish my character and feed on the positive. Thus, I free myself, allow my goodness to manifest and become a source of joy. Through gentleness, I offer unconditional support, understanding and love to myself and others. Let's take that goodness in, right? You're overcoming, you're polishing your character, you're feeding on the higher frequencies, you're freeing yourself, you're allowing goodness to manifest, to become a source of joy and through your gentleness, like the deer spirit, the deer with the with the gentleness, the deers, they come in. I offer you, you're offering unconditional, infinite support, infinite understanding, infinite love to yourself and others. Yes. That's so beautiful, right? Just in that way, just feel those act. I'm telling you, this is this is this is so real. We're activating right now. We we opening some things up your heart is fully open that is an activation that has just been planted in the dna and you will start projecting goodness to yourself and to others and that is exactly what we need in this life then we have with the red affirmation red frequencies and energies this is venus is coming through with the red the root your root chakra. Affirmation. I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. I listen. I listen to myself and acknowledge my needs. That is your intuition, your gut, what? Your, your brain, your stomach, your gut, your soul is li you listening and honoring your needs. That is where you should, you have to stay. That's the root 
rooted, stay rooted, stay in the body, stay grounded. Get out of that head, all right? Just use your logic when you need your logic. Get balanced with the logic, but live in your intuition and in your heart. Those, is, those are your compasses, your navigations. That is where you sense, feel, know, right? You, you listen, you got two ears to listen. I assert myself and retain my power. So by being assertive, you're retaining your power. You're standing your ground. I am brave. I am gentle. I don't have to be afraid of others. I respect myself and am respected by others. I'm telling you, you're gonna run right some of these down. This is deep. Could you imagine speaking this activation every day? That is the self-awareness. That is the act of self-love. You will become untouchable and unstoppable just with those words, vibrating at those frequencies, staying with your heart open and staying rooted and grounded using the Venus energies and using, you know, the, the root chakra, making sure your root stay, you staying grounded and rooted. Yes. Then we got the yellows and the, the gold frequencies coming through. It's the sun energy connecting to the sun, the gold, the orange, the yellows. That's your sacral and solar plexus chakras your earth star chakra, sun, manifestation of light. I see the beauty in me because beauty, the beauty is only within. Natural beauty is within you. So when your insides is all together, balanced, harmonious and everything like that, then your outer will reflect that as well. I grow and develop my inner self in harmony with light and beauty. I free myself from negativity. My heart transforms. My intellect shines. And my inner light grows. Yes. That is a very beautiful one to use to be able to activate the light inside of you. Then coming on those same frequencies, same colors and everything, we work in the same things. I am light. I always have hope. No matter the ordeal, I have faith in a better future. I turn darkness into light. And better yet, you balance darkness with light. It's beautiful to have the balance of the both. I open my heart to others and to our only one creator and am spiritually strong. I draw light to me and shine with all of my being. Come on now. Yes, we are activating. Can you imagine how you will change your life if you spoke like this every day? In fact, you can start writing these downs or even listen to the activation or however you feel like you want to do it. You do this daily. Your life is bound to change in an instant because you are giving yourself permission. You are allowing, you are opening yourself up. You are reprogramming yourself to be on higher vibrations and frequencies. We are already doing it now as you are watching this video. We are amplifying this. We are very powerful. So we are shooting these frequencies to you. If you want these frequencies, we are opening up. We are clearing whatever it is that has came up into you to try to keep you stuck and stagnant no more, no more, no more. We are open. So congratulations to giving yourself the permission to heal, to grow, to open, to allow, to be, to know, to feel. Woo, it must be a lot going on with this sun energy, y'all. We got the gold, the sun, the orange coming in again. 
with faithfulness. I commit to my mind, heart, and will. I am devoted to the needs of my soul. I am devoted to the needs of my soul. That is pure love being devoted to the needs of your soul though that should be the goals and 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 your like your in, your intentions for the day is to be devoted to the needs of your your soul because your soul knows which way to go it knows who to keep around what to do it knows why you're here it knows who you are so when you really start going within and tapping yourself in and really start going on this self self journey discovery instead of believing what everybody told you that you are and this is how you're supposed to act this is how you're supposed to be and how people who have all these gifts and abilities they are all this and everything no all everything that those satanic beings have told you those inorganic ones everything that they done said that is bad about everybody who is spreading so much love and light and being a true authentic selves they if they had anything to say about that you want to flip it and that's that's why you're kind of on a on a topsy-turvy because you've been following satanic beings for so long so you've lost yourself so now it's time for you to come on back with these activations i trust in myself and our only one creator and the universe that is being faithful that is being authentic that is being who you are truly meant to be now we got the pink which is our creator's energy our creator represents the color pink and our divine goddesses re represents the color blue so uh we have purples and we have pink activations coming through so we got the third eye chakra we also have um saturn energies coming through we have uh jupiter energies coming through Positive thinking. Positive thinking. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being. Do your thoughts right now bring you well-being? Because if it does not, then become the alchemist and only allow thoughts of well-being. You give yourself permission to only allow thoughts of well-being. Observe the other thoughts that is, that is adverse and then work with them, work through them to clear them, to transmute them. Because you don't want to just, just suppress things and all of that. No, you want to work. You have to do your work. You came here to this false world to do the work. So therefore, do your work, your inner work, your shadow work. I place what is waiting for me in the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. Yes. Yes, you do. And ooh, look at this one. Oh my goodness. Whew. Wow, I want to keep you, look at that, that's a good show y'all, look at how that light, look at that light of this on this car, oh my goodness gracious, wow, let's get, you know, the sun energies again, that's just, whoo, that is powerful, the sacral, solar plexus, well, this is freedom, we are speaking freedom, I realize my wounds create doubt, resentment and guilt so i work to free myself of darkness i cast off negative thoughts find peace in my heart and discover the being of light within me i'm telling you when you can set yourself free, because only you will be able to do that when you give yourself permission to set yourself free, to just allow yourself to just get up and just move forward. And then, you you know, you can be free. And that's when you stop listening to and following those inorganic people 
and you know ones will wonder like who's the inorganic one so those will be like your politicians the religions the people that are in like those occults and um you know um like those fraternity sorority type organizations because they are all under satanic principles and there are videos um, in the description box that will be able to fully explain in detail what we mean by that to be able to give you full concrete information and how it relates to everything and teaching you how you're supposed to read between the lines of literally everything and anyone that you listen to or you get your information from always read in between the lines because there will always be something that's going to come in to try to switch some of the information that is being um, depicted and also too to try to continue to keep you controlled so that you want to be able to see things for what it really is so therefore you want to make sure that you are not being that you're not an organic person that is supporting these inorganic satanic beings and the information is all out there now even on the community tab there's um there's videos for you to watch you know it was it was quite shocking how a man actually spoke up on one of these channels how um he came from a family that had a satanic bloodline and he witnessed his um his aunt eating rats and and, and children and, and things like that it's, it's quite interesting um, so yeah, but we're going to clear cut and delete that and we're going to bring back the good loving vibrations and frequencies while we're activating and we only got a few more activations left and this is just so great. Wisdom and awareness is just so great because it just really open you up to things. And it's like, you know, there will be ones that will be so triggered because, you know, that is just who they are. I mean, they may be attached to the satanic bloodline, which is why they'll feel some type of way about that. And by you being attached to the satanic bloodline as well, that means you're inorganic. So meaning that you're not natural. So meaning that you, you know, you know, you come part of like a program or something like that or was like, you know, kind of created through like experiments and, and things of that nature. So. Um, I feel, we feel and know that it's best that everybody know and can really hold themselves accountable about who they truly are and where they come from, their bloodlines and all of these things. And for you organic ones, definitely do not do that ancestry DNA stuff. You want to do your research on where you can go to get your DNA to be able to know because those people are selling your information to those satanic beings and things of that nature. So you want to make sure that you find uh, a community more so of those that because uh, they always say that look like you but you know there's a lot that look like us that is um, a lot of the satanic inorganic ones so therefore when you not tapped in and don't really know because you've been conditioned to program so long you know you just want to reach out into to, to ones that you know that you can trust to be able to give you the information on where to go to be able to get the DNA so that you can have a more understanding on where you come from in that way too you'll be able to know what work you need to work on and you'll be more gentle with yourself too and all of those those things all right so we have with the blue energy coming through this is um it could also be energies of like the throat chakra as well all right this blue coming through you know it's so interesting i'm gonna show this that's really i just want to show and i should have showed all the uh, all the others and i don't really know why it's neither here nor there now because we're here right now i just wanted to show you the that frequency here so we have wisdom god we're gonna omit that because we spoke about how you know is 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 that is not the name. And these names on this false plane anyway, and they, people want to name things and have all these titles and none of that stuff even matter. And the fact of the matter is, is that it is our only one creator of everything. Our higher power, higher consciousness, whatever anybody want to call it, but it's infinite and limitless. And it is everything. It cannot be put in a box or any type of other things. So therefore, higher power has a plan for me. I live here now knowing beauty is to come but you can also know the beauty is here now because everything is all happening all at once so this right here shows too with how you have to kind of read in between the lines you got to kind of change some of the words and the language because you're reading certain things 
and you even have to change some of those things. Like I wanted to omit that word because when it comes down to the actual meaning of words too, like things can get really, really deep. And yet, you know, we know that people are on all different type of level of perceptions. So therefore we like to kind of keep it in a sense where everyone will be able to understand what it is that we are channeling to you. So the thing is, is live here now. And that is stay present right now because all we have is right now, this moment right now. And knowing that beauty is here now and the beauty is inside of you, not outside of you. Meaning you do not have to do all these extra things to make yourself look and feel a certain way. You are already enough just as you are. Our creator made it you that way. All right. So you go within yourself and clean up everything. Let go, whatever it is. It's like spring clean and our new year is coming up in a few weeks. So therefore, you want to make sure that you are cleaning up and letting go of what no longer serve you. Inside of you, outside of you, around, whatever it is, clean it up. I don't force things to happen faster than the universe has decided for me. So that is trusted into divine timing. So you just allow things to happen in this time. I learn from my experiences, take steps in faith, and succeed thanks to all my efforts. Notice that is what wisdom is. So how many of you are at that state? Well, we're going to activate you right now so that we can activate that part in you for your wisdom so that you can start being open to wisdom. Because in the description box, all those videos, that is wisdom. So meaning to not be triggered, but it's bringing you awareness so that you can know who you are and why you do certain things that you do and why you like certain things. You know, it is, it is about time that people really know what is going on. What's up? So here we go again. A wise person lives in the now. They know that the beauty is inside of them. They do not force things to happen faster than what the universe has decided for them. They learn from all of their experiences. They recognize that things is not happening to them. It is happening for them. They are not pointing a finger at nobody else. They are going within and they are looking at what is going on inside of them that allowed them to attract that experience. And they are also asking their soul, why did we choose to have that experience or want to have that experience, right? They take small steps and they trust and succeed. And, and above all things, they are grateful for all of their efforts, meaning they are celebrating every baby step forward. That is a wise one. Lastly, with the pink, our creator energies is release. What a beautiful way to end this. Because we are releasing right now. We are allowing. I stop fighting my fears and the hardships of life. And we, it's great to name them. And then you want to heal them. And then you want to release them. And we just want to say, I stop fighting, and it says, I stop fighting my fears. And the alchemist is not going to say that they have any. You don't have any fears. So fear fears you. I have nothing to fear. That is coming from a more higher standpoint, right? Like, because when you, when you claim it, then it do become yours. So again, that's the whole reading in between the lines. So we wanted to make sure that we wanted to fix that activation for you. Cause then we doing that cause we tipping it all and everything because you know, one would say, yes, you want to definitely acknowledge and, and name it. And even when it comes down to naming things, that's irrelevant because it doesn't, it doesn't matter. The thing is you want to recognize that there is something that is projected onto you that is making you feel fearful of something and that does not exist. So therefore, when you feel something and you know that you are observing it, you don't want to judge it. So the thing is, when you name it, you start judging it so respectfully. You don't even want to name it anyway, because again, names don't mean nothing. And that comes from a place of judging. So you want to observe that you feel something 
and it's very familiar. And if you had to put a name to it, obviously you would probably say that, but you don't have to do that. What you wanna do is just know that whatever it is, that you are overcoming it, that you are stronger, that you are standing in your power, that you will not allow it to overtake you. I control my thoughts, live in the present moment, and accept each stage of life. I work on what I have power over and put into our only one creator hands what I can't change. I trust that everything will work out for the best. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Because it will. If you, if you feel know and believe that everything will work out in its time it will it always does that was that was amazing we hope that you was able to get something from these lovely activations we ask that you come to it as often as you can and also to or write them down Listen to frequencies that's 528 hertz to 963 hertz to continue to keep you on higher frequencies and vibrations to get you connected, tapped in to our only one creator. Because those in inorganic ones, them synthetic beings have done everything to keep you so far away from our creator by teaching you everything that is so far away from who you truly are. So with that, we wish you so much wholeness. We wish you wisdom. We wish you harmony. We wish you balance. We wish you patience. We wish you trust. We wish you infinite, infinite, infinite love. <sighs> Till next time.